And uh, I saw the hand of God, but I was on a Wednesday afternoon at 430. God gave me a, God gave me an instruction, something I'd never done about sowing seeds. Yes, sir. Four months later, I had more money than I had ever had in my life wow. in every bank account. I did business with seven banks, seven banks. And I had more money in every account than I'd ever had in my life. And there's something about doing business with God. Bishop James, there's something about doing business with God. Go ahead, sir. Letting him talk to you, writing down your ideas. And that's now the greatest wisdom key for money ever. The place you create pleasure is the place your prosperity begins. The place you create pleasure is the place your prosperity begins. The place you create pleasure is the place your prosperity begins. The place you create pain is the place your prosperity stops. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, this is heavy. <laughs> Wow. The the three greatest words that the Holy Spirit ever gave to me, and I, you know, I'm obsessed with the Holy Spirit. I've written over 800 love songs to the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. He is the only person you have to obey your whole life. Yes, sir. He is the only person that understands your behavior. He is the only person. He's the easiest person. Wow. To please. Wow. Your whole life. He said, come into his presence and sing. Yes. He really loves singing. Don't know why, but he really likes for us to sing to him. Just sing to him. And I fell in love with him July 13th, 94. And the Holy Spirit is a person. He's not wind. He moves like wind. He's not fire. He purifies like fire. The Holy Spirit is a person. He's not even a bird. He descended on Jesus like a dove, but he's a person. And when you talk to him, he'll talk back to you. It's very conversational. I'm going to pray. If you don't mind, I'd like to pray. Uh, I want to pray. I want everyone to start seven minutes with the Holy Spirit of prayer every morning. I want you to have a place at your house. You may call it the secret place like I have. I changed it to the Jesus room because the Holy Spirit makes Jesus in you come alive. He gives you the Jesus nature. But I want you to plan on seven minutes with the Holy Spirit for the next 30 days. He's going to give you ideas. He's going to give you ideas. And you're going to make three phone calls in the next 30 days. That's going to change your financial life. God will lead you who to call. You may call someone and just pray for them on the phone. You may call a business or a company and say, I really would like to be the number one protege in your company. I want to learn. God's going to lead you three phone calls, three people. I want you for seven minutes for 30 days. Through the month of June, yes. the next 30 days, through the 30 days, invest seven minutes with the Holy Spirit. Write down anything that he talks to you about. Just write it down. Now, you're going to pray in those seven minutes. The first two prayers will be the Lord's Prayer. The second is Psalms 23. Those are the two prayers I want you to pray. Psalms 23, Matthew 6, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven. I want you to create the routine of saying what God wants to hear. Jesus said, the Father wants to hear these words from you. Jesus told us the exact words that God wanted to hear come from our lips. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Say the prayer slowly. You can read them if you want to. That's okay. 
a red prayer, a prayer that you read, has just as much power as one you create in your mind. Just as much power. For 30 days, seven minutes with God. Seven minutes with God. Now I'm going to pray. Yes, sir. I'm going to pray for seven, I'm 74 years old. Yes. The three greatest words the Holy Spirit ever told me was decisions decide wealth. Decisions decide wealth. Wealth decides experiences. That's the purpose of money is to create experiences of pleasure. That's the purpose of money. And I was in prayer. Decisions decide wealth. Decisions decide wealth. Decisions decide wealth. There's seven that'll make a huge difference in 30 days. One is the questions you're willing to ask. Your decision to ask questions continuously. Number two is your decisions to get close to a man of God and serve him like Elisha served. Get close to a man of God. Second Chronicles 20, 20. Believe a prophet and you will prosper. You will prosper. Now, there's only one reason men stay poor. Only one. Proverbs 13, 18. Poverty and shame will come to a person who refuses to follow an instruction. Poverty and shame will come to him who refuses to follow instruction. I'm 74. God's blessed me with three jets. I've sold them, etc. But three beautiful jets. One went 520 miles an hour, a west wind. I bought them all cash and never received a single dollar offering to buy a jet. No partner around my the world has ever, ever, ever given me a dollar to buy a jet. God bless me and bless me and bless me. I want to pray for 74 to become a multimillionaire and have a testimony like God has given to me. I'd like to tell that in two minutes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I had received a royalty check of $5,000. I didn't have a kitchen table. I had no money to buy chairs. I had sheets tacked over my windows. And this royalty check came in. I went to hear a preacher. While I'm sitting there, he says, I want everyone to pray about sowing a thousand dollar seed. I never heard of such a thing in my life. I was a hundred dollar man, Bishop. I only gave a hundred dollars. And something inside me said, obey the man of God. I just received a royalty check. I hadn't bought chairs yet. I hadn't bought a kitchen table yet. I sold a thousand dollars that day. So Wednesday morning, the following Tuesday, 